Ahoy! The time has finally come. It seems like desperate measures, but sometimes it's got to be done. It is ourselves whom we must challenge this day, and it is ourselves whom we must ultimately conquer. Let's get started. So what we're doing here is two sets of 10. We'll go 50, 60 for the 10s. Now we're gonna go two sets of eights. We'll go 70, 80, and we'll finish with two sets of six, 90, 100. Whatever your weight weight allows you to do for those those kind of reps, and at the end, it's okay to cheat them a little bit, but just fight that negative, okay? And make sure you rest enough in between each set, so you're not still huffing and puffing when you start the next set. Let the heart rate come down a little bit. That'll allow you to grow. Okay, the next sequence of this routine is we're going to start supersetting, okay? Now we're going to do a heavy tricep movement which is, some people call it a skull crusher, it's a lying tricep extension. And then we're gonna do a one-arm concentration curl, okay? But we'll change the reps a little bit. We'll just go 12s and like eights, okay? Here we go. Woohoo! So, tip to get stability in your tricep extension. If you're using a lot of weight, you don't want to get pulled off the bench. Hook your heel on the end of the bench like this and it'll help hold you in place. You know, some people ask me, like, how do you keep your skin looking so good? You're close to 60 years old. And what I tell them is I use a vitamin E oil from Trader Joe's after I get out of the shower each time. I always have good skin. Okay, the next sequence of exercises we're gonna do is a close grip bench press. And I like to do it at a 30 degree incline. You know, a little added extra chest residual. Scoot back just a little bit. Yeah, you wanna come down right below your pecs, just right about there, drive it up to a lock. should do it then we're gonna go over here to the hammer curl okay and the pro tip of the day if you don't want your dumbbells to roll Put them in a plate like that. Even on the ground, you can put them on a plate. And they won't roll away from you. And you don't want your dumbbells rolling around because if it rolls off the bench and hits your toe, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. So I have steel-toed Timberland boots. When you do this, you go through this little superset about four times. It's usually good. 12 here, 12 there on the hammer. Okay, the finisher 
is a rope push down. And I like doing it on a regular cable just because you can get more weight on it. Because those other cables of the thing usually only have a 200 pound weight stack on them. And it's not 200 pounds because it's all the extra cables. Anyhow, push downs. Finish off. Typically I like to do these with higher rep ranges, 15s to 20s, because it's pretty much a detail move, but it's gonna help flush a lot of blood into the triceps at the end of a workout. Pro tip of the day, when you grab these things, don't just cuff up to the thing. Let your grip strength, take it about an inch away from the bottom. Let your grip strength hang on to the rope, okay? Get an extra added extensor work. So your forearms look great instead of just relaxing on the cuff. I am the original Rusty Jeffers. Thanks for coming. And keep a lookout for my next YouTube video.